डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू शिक्षा मंत्रा एंड टुडे इन शिक्षा मंत्रा वी हैव अ वेरी स्पेशल डिस्कशन एंड द डिस्कशन टुडे व्हाट विल फॉलो इट्स रियली अ वेरी यूजफुल वन यूजफुल इन दैट सेंस समटाइम्स फॉर सम रूल्स एंड टू फॉलो सम ग्रामेटिकल थ्योरीज यू गेट कंफ्यूज्ड एंड विद द कंफ्यूजन द वेरी प्रोसेस ऑफ लर्निंग गेट हैम्पर्ड so here i have a discussion with which i'll try my best to get you out of that confusion confusion regarding regarding what it's regarding adjective and pronouns yes dear friends sometimes you get the same thing the same word sometimes it's used as a adjective and sometimes as pronouns so you get confused what is the adjective and when it's used as a pronoun so if i say so many things like this you want to get what i'm actually saying what i actually mean so it's better for me to have an example here and you will understand it better so let's check an example if i say this is a book now the question is this i'm talking of this word it's a parts of speech now the question is which parts of speech does it belong you know this it's actually a demonstrative you know it you would say sir this is demonstrative but demonstrative i know it but demonstrative what you would get demonstrative in both adjectives as well as in pronoun so just tell me whether this is demonstrative adjective or demonstrative pronoun now you must say so this is pronoun and sometimes we may say so this is adjective as well but whatever it may be so your answer is so oh, this is pronoun pronoun means this is demonstrative pronoun now let me write down another sentence this book is expensive so two sentences are written here the first says this is a book and the second says this book is expensive now tell me what's about this what's about this this but i will continue to consider it as pronoun whether this is a demonstrative pronoun or not so what will be your answer if you look at it very keenly you will find out that this is not a pronoun rather this is adjective and there you get confused why we consider it as demonstrative adjective and this one as demonstrative pronoun so it would be our consideration all easily how i will easily find out whether this is a pronoun or an adjective so the same thing happens for demonstrative they come as both demonstrative pronoun as well as demonstrative adjectives there are some others as well if you uh, read the pronouns and the adjectives well you will find them out and we also discuss it step by step but the first one is about demonstrative adjectives and demonstrative pronouns so how to differentiate them so to differentiate them we have to follow some very simple tricks what is it just look at the verb if you look at the verb is this is the verb and also here is this is the verb just find out the two verbs in these two sentences and now your task is to find out the subject which one is the subject this this is the subject and here this book this phrase is the subject now there is a very basic difference in these two subjects when it comes as this it comes alone and it accepts the verb directly it doesn't have any other 
words or parts of speech to support it. So it's accepting the word directly as the subject of a sentence. So obviously this is pronoun because it's behaving as a noun. Now what's about the second sentence? Here we have a noun book. And here this it's qualifying the noun book. So here this it's used as a qualifier. It adds some sense to the meaning of the noun book. So it doesn't have a singular identity as it is for the first sentence. There it's a pronoun, but here it adds something to the sense of a noun. That means here it's used as an adjective. So this is the very simple way to find out the difference between the demonstrative adjectives and the demonstrative pronouns. When they are conjugated to a noun, you must consider it as adjective and when they are not conjugated to a noun, rather they are used singularly as the subject of the verb or as the object, whatever it may be. Uh, if you say I love this flower. So here the expression appears as the object, but it comes with a noun. So this is also demonstrative adjective. Now if I say don't do this. So here this comes as the object of the verb, but it doesn't have any noun to support. It's a single identity and it doesn't have any other parts of speech to carry with to add something to the meaning of. So it's used as the pronoun and obviously this is the demonstrative pronoun. So this is the simple way, dear friends, that's how you can very easily differentiate between demonstrative adjectives and demonstrative pronouns. If you find it really enjoying, if you find it really useful for you, I'm here to supply you many such informations regarding English grammar and English language. And if you are really interested to subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon hard so that you get every notification whenever we post a fresh discussion regarding English grammar and many more. So just wait for us. We are returning very soon. Till then, bye-bye. Happy learning.